Peter, good to see you. Let's start with the first question uh, on this investigation in particular. What made Detective Byerson suspicious about how Helen Hargan passed away? Well, Helen Hargan was upstairs in a bathroom. She was sitting. She'd been shot in the head. And there's a rifle next to her suggesting that this wound had been self-inflicted. But at autopsy, they discovered that the bullet had entered the top of her head and gone straight down. And when they put the barrel of the rifle to her head, they realized she couldn't have reached the trigger. Now, at, and that told Detective Byerson, someone else must have shot her. And all, at, at trial, the defense will try to argue that somehow... Helen shot herself by putting her head down and pulling the trigger with her toe, uh, something that is in great dispute during the course of this case. Uh, what do we know about the family? Did they cooperate with the investigation? They did cooperate, but uh, there's a lot of deception that goes on in this. This is such a family tragedy that two members uh, of a family, a mother and a sister, are murdered by allegedly another sister. Uh, and they discover a few days uh, after this tragic death that someone had gone into Pam Hargan's bank account and uh, attempted to transfer, impersonating her, attempting to transfer hundreds of thousands of dollars out of that account. But remember, when you call a bank, that phone call is recorded, and that comes up at trial, and it's significant evidence. And so in the end, did investigators in this case find a motive? The motive is money uh, and jealousy. There was a sibling rivalry uh, that was involved in this, but at, at its heart, um, uh, someone needed more than $400,000. They attempted to get it on the day uh, of uh, July 14th, 2017, and when they couldn't get it, uh, these two killings occurred so that this person could get access to those funds. Money's at the heart of it. Yeah. It will be interesting to see this play out in full. Peter Van Zandt, thank you so much. Thank you.